Okay, this just came in the mail and we have an unboxing to do today and I think it's going to be a good one. Look at that. Let's see what we got here. That's it. Okay, there's the sheath, which is fairly unique looking because this side is like a nylon with stitching and rivets and buckles, but then it has a leather on this side and a D ring with a leather dangler, a leather like snap buckle snap here and then it's got kind of like a plastic uh, d-ring down here at the bottom for putting a lanyard on to tie around your leg definitely a, and then there's also a snap here for keeping the knife locked in very bizarre the way that there's leather back here and then uh, kind of like a nylon over here you don't see that too often Okay, on to the knife. Trying to get this out of here. There it is. Look at that. Oh boy. It says 1278 Taiwan. They all say 1278. <laughs> From what I've seen of other videos, and they're, they are made in Taiwan for K bar. And wow, look at that thing! Look at that blade geometry, that is something else. really nice the tip looks like it's not let me see if I can get that in focus here it's not bad it's not perfect so they could have did a better job sharpening that tip it's like the bevels don't quite line up perfectly there but the first thing I actually noticed when I opened this when I touch this handle that does not feel like most handles on knives. Like that's actually, it's like a, it's like a hard plastic, but it has like a rubbery feel to it too. Like it feels super grippy. And then you add these uh, like textured lines in there and it's just like, I don't think this is going anywhere. You don't need, I don't even think you would need gloves. It's got a little bit of a swoop here, almost a choil. Kind of protects your finger down there at the bottom. Then it has this little little micro choil there. Come on, focus camera. Which you could probably use on a fire steel or something. But and I got pretty decent sized hands, and my hand takes up pretty much the entire handle. And it's a nice comfortable fit. And the weight of this, man, it's it's listed as a quarter inch thick, I guess, back here. But it looks to me like it's a hair under a quarter. And then, of course, it tapers as you get to the tip of the blade. It's got like a false blade kind of swedge up on top. And then the true blade at the bottom. Look at that spacer, the, the distance. Man. It, it feels heavy, but I, I think you could carry this. It's not, like, ridiculously heavy. And let me see where the balance would be on this thing. It feels like it's about, yeah, I'll try not to lose it there. Yeah, it's about dead center. Whoa. Right at the front of the handle there. So that means that this handle 
the tang that goes into here plus the handle itself has some weight to balance out this big beefy blade so that's pretty cool really nice balance it's got a lanyard hole if you want to put a put a grip a lanyard on it so you can increase your grip and I think this is listed I've seen it listed at SK5 steel a lot of sites have it listed as the 1095 Crovan, which maybe that is the same steel, I'm not sure. But I know usually with all my other K-Bars, their 1095 Crovan is excellent, excellent steel. And if this is the same steel, then that should be pretty great. It's got a little bit of a thumb ramp here, but there's no jimping, so it's smooth. But that's fine because the handle's so grippy. I mean, it, a couple little notches wouldn't have hurt, but I'm I think it's okay. Kind of like that. Okay, let's get some measurements on this. Oh, this is the K-Bar Warthog, if I haven't mentioned that already. So, let's get some measurements. Okay, the blade to where it's actually sharpened is about six and an eighth. And if you take it all the way back to here, it's about six and a half, but the actual cutting edge is about just over six inches. It's a little longer if you would follow the swoop. And then the handle is about five and a half inches to the back there. See that? And let's get a top measure. Okay, this thing is almost 12 inches. So it's pretty sizable that way. About two and a half inches at the widest spot there. But you can see how big that bevel is right there. It's pretty nice. Okay, this is a size comparison. This is the K-Bar BK and T K-Bar uh, BK2 Companion. And this is a full quarter inch thick, excellent knife. It has those uh, grivery or grivery handle scales, which are a bit too slick for my liking. So I put a ranger band on it and it gives it superb grip. Like you couldn't ask for better. Well, maybe you could, but it's pretty dang good. This is the BK2 Companion, full tang. Try to line that up accurately there and you can see the difference in size of the warthog now this is a different type of plastic because this feels very rubbery very grippy I can't imagine you'd need a ranger band on this and you can see it looks just a hair thinner than the BK2 so I don't think this is quite a quarter of an inch even though it's listed as it and this is it beside the Mora Garberg stainless steel. One of my absolute favorite knives. And here it is beside the Mora Garberg in carbon black, which you can see I've used quite a bit and sharpened on multiple occasions. That's the size difference there. Here it is beside the Mora Cans Ball, which is a very popular knife. That's the size difference. Here it is beside the Survivor Navy Seal knife, which is actually a decent little knife surprisingly and this is it beside the Ati knife from Finland this knife is stupid sharp it's so sharp it's unbelievable I've been trying to customize the handle here trying to make it a little more wavy so it's a little more grippy very nice knife and why the heck not?
This is it beside the S.A. Inglis. E.C. S.A. however you want to say it. E.C. Hunglis. Get them about even there. Well, let's see how this thing fits into the sheath here. You see, it slides in like that. I might need two hands for this. Okay, this snaps right there over that uh, thumb ramp. That's what holds the knife in. It's not going nowhere. But then you also have this handle snap. Yep, and that is secure. That's tight. It's not going nowhere. And what's cool is it hangs on the dangler there. So you can wear this on your side. It's got a big belt loop. Really firm. This, whether it's real leather or fake leather, I think it's real. It's pretty pretty hard stuff. But definitely a usable knife. Probably a great backup knife for the one you would like to do a lot of more beating with this knife to protect your more delicate knife. But look at that. Quite nice. Looks really good too. I really like the texture and feel of this handle. Okay, I was thinking about doing a paper cut test here, but nobody wants to see that. Just kidding. <laughs> here it is. Straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to this blade. Get a piece of paper here. Let's see if it can cut anything. Well, well, well. Look at that. That's as pretty sharp. Almost razor sharp. I'm sure you could shave with this knife straight out of the box. Very nice. This here is like much tougher. It's almost like a cardboard type of paper. Let's give it a shot on something like that. Just as sharp as printer paper was. Wow. Here's another size comparison with it beside the Schrade SCH38 Frontier Knife. You can see that it's just a little larger and definitely wider. It's like a boat paddle. Here it is by the Cold Steel Bushman. Okay, that's about it. That's all I have for this pretty cool K-Bar Warthog. I'm going to, right after the end of this video, I'm going to post a couple pictures of the specs of this because there's so many, it's hard to remember offhand. But their site actually lists this deal as SK5, but that'll all be in the uh, two photos that have the specs for everything about this uh, Hope you enjoyed this video. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.